Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life, and today I'm gonna do the monochromatic project pan update and for the month of February. So if you haven't seen my intro talking more about kind of where this project pan came from, the rules, rules for it and everything, I will link my intro video up above. But last month the color was purple. So I picked a couple of products that had purple in it, whether it be the actual product itself, packaging, and I had different goals and things I wanted to do on them. So I'm gonna update you guys with those products today, how they kind of did during the month of January. Will I still be using them? Are they gone completely? That kind of stuff. And then for February, the color is Shimmer Glitter. So I have some new products that I want to be working on during this month. So if you're interested in seeing the products, then keep watching. So like I said, it was purple. So one of the items I knew off the bat I wanted to work on was for my Hourglass. This is the Volume 3 palette. And there's a blush right here in the shade surreal halo i believe yeah surreal halo and it is so gorgeous i definitely fell in love with this blush it's actually the blush that i have on today been using it religiously i had the unrealistic goal of trying to kind of smooth out the dome and i've definitely used a lot of it but it's not like completely flat still really enjoy using it i'll probably continue to use it honestly during this next month another thing i've been reaching for since i had this in my everyday makeup bag for january was the dim light powder right here you guys know it is one of my favorite powders to set all over the face i have used up a couple full sizes of it up in the past and i'm still working on one now but i normally reach for the full size over the ones in the palette just because of how small it is and i normally like to use like my big fluffy brush with it but i have been using this a lot more to set my face still love it my favorite my favorite face powder so i will continue to work on this and then honestly what i've been using is this highlight shade too this past month and this is in the shade Diffused Light. And that is the highlight that is on my face. I feel like it helps brighten it up without making it super glittery, shimmery like that. Kind of different than what I'm going to be working on this month. But really been enjoying Diffused Light. Just to kind of set and be my highlighter for the month of January. So really happy with that. Didn't use it as much as I was planning on, but I'm really happy with kind of where I'm at with that product. Another product that was in for the purple was the body lotion. This is the Human and Kind Body Souffle. And this was in a bunch of project pans and I just never was committed enough to fully use it up. But this month I did, I used it up completely, like literally nothing is left. Not the type to cut it open and like scrape the sides. I feel like this is kind of beaten to death. Really happy with it. I would repurchase it. Natural, vegan, cruelty free, that kind of stuff. So I got it from a FabFitFun box. I'm really happy to be done with it. I like it way more than like the Bath & Body Works lotions. So I would repurchase this. I just kind of need to see where it is. Like you can purchase it online, Ulta, Target, that kind of stuff. Figure out where you can buy it. But I would repurchase this. So happy to be done with that and have an empty from this. Another product is from L'Oreal. This is the Air Dry It Undone Style Cream. This is one of the products that kind of was underneath my bathroom counter for a long time. Really didn't gravitate to use it. I was able to use quite a bit of it. I probably have just a couple more uses of it. I put this in my hair when it's wet just to kind of help air dry it. I don't think I'd repurchase it, but I didn't hate it. I have such a little product left though. I do kind of want to continue to work on it this month. Hopefully I get rid of it and be like, have an empty of it, use it up completely. But I liked it. It was for medium to coarse hair. I feel like it did, it did a good job. It had the purple in it. So yeah, I'm not going to declutter this. I think I should be able to keep using it and hopefully be done with it soon. Another product is a candle and I love putting candles in there. I like to spice it up. I have a huge Bath & Body Works candle kind of drawer set away that I like to go through and I always like want to find new candles. So I picked this one for purple. This was the Spiced Apple Toddy. Love the scent. It is a winter candle. I'm not too picky choosy when it comes to like this is a spring, fall, winter, whatever kind of thing. So love this. I purchased it in the fall like 
picture scheme too. This is warm apple brandy, spiced plum, tart cranberry, and cinnamon stick. So used it up completely, so I hit my goal on it. Really happy about that. Next thing was an eyeshadow in my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette, the Pillow Talk. This is my Pan That palette for this year, so I'll link my playlist up above if you want to hear more detail about the palette itself. But for this month, I was really working on, come on, this shade right here. I was hoping to hit pan on it because this is a kind of purple shade, but I was not able to hit pan on it. It is what's on my eyes, kind of on the middle to outer part of my eyes. I enjoyed using it as an everyday makeup look. We'll probably continue to use it like that during the month of February. It's just kind of a pretty like pinky purple kind of shade. So that is something that I was able to kind of focus in on during this past month. Didn't hit my goal, but I'll continue to work on it. It's my pan that palette for the year. And then the last product that I had for January I was working on is this Butter London Plush Rush Satin Matte Lipstick in Charmed. And I love the color. I love the creaminess of this lipstick, but I'm ending up decluttering it. Now, I am decluttering it because it gives a kind of tingly, weird sensation on my lips that I'm not comfortable with and I'm not a fan of. So I am going to get rid of this and not bother with it. I've definitely come to terms with just trying my makeup, especially during this project, trying things out for the month. If I don't like it, declutter it. Don't kind of waste my time on it. But if I like it, I'll keep using it. And this just was one of the ones I'm going to declutter. So let's get in to the new products that I will be working on during February for the glitter shimmer. The first thing I immediately thought of was my Stila. This is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma. I've been working on this. I think this is in my Partners in Cream project pan and I've been using it a lot this month and it's definitely a dry, starting to dry out on me. So that is the shade Swatched Out. It has definitely a lot of a glitter shimmer going on. It does have a lot of fallout. I need to use it with the glitter primer from NYX. So I'm going to use it with this and kind of see how it works. I got this off of recommendation from y'all so I will be playing with that this month. Another kind of eye product is my Too Faced. This is the Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. Definitely has the glitter sparkles to it. This is in the shade Lucky B. And I just kind of outline my black liquid liner and top this with it. Just to kind of give a kind of glittery look to my eyes without doing like a full like glitter eyeshadow on top of it. So I will be playing with this continuing for February. Be really good for like girls nights or like Valentine's Day, that kind of stuff. So I will be playing with that. Next thing I thought about was from my ABH. This is the Nicole Guerrero highlighter palette and everything in this palette is kind of glitter shimmery kind of shade. I've played with all of them back and forth. My Forever Young shade is my favorite. So this is the one I will be probably playing with the most this month. There is it swatch but I'm gonna try and work on kind of more of a wham bam in your face kind of highlighter for this month it'll be really fun to play with this is definitely an older product in my collection so I'm gonna just continue to play with it this month see what I think I'll definitely kind of dabble in all of the shades but definitely forever young is the one I will be working on the most the next product is this little deluxe kind of sample guy of the YSL black opium I got this in an Ulta box for my in December when I did a purchase and there was like a deluxe kind of sample bag of all perfumes and this one is in it. This is my favorite fall winter fragrance especially from YSL. I love the Mon Paris but that's more like my spring summer scent so I'll be working on this fragrance a lot this month. I'll see kind of if I use it up I'd be happy or not happy. I don't know. If I use it up I'd be happy but I definitely am kind of hoping on my wish list. I told my husband for Valentine's Day I wanted a rollerball of this or Mon Paris, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'll be happy to use it up because I love this fragrance, but sad because I want it in my collection. The next thing here is a lip product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I'll kind of put what it is, but it's like a glitter liquid lipstick or a lip gloss. 
and I love the packaging of it. Let me give you guys a swatch. I really haven't been playing with this too much. There you go. So it's just kind of a regular lip gloss. There's a little bit of shimmer in there. You can see it's this top part, but the packaging definitely has it, but you can see in the lip gloss that it has some kind of gold flex to it. So I'll be using this on my lips a lot more this month. I normally just kind of have been doing the Urban Decay Naked Lipstick and Birthday Suit. And then I can top it with this. So that's kind of my plan for February. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And then the last product, my new candle for February. I'm currently burning, oh, I don't know what the candle I'm burning downstairs is. But for the kind of majority of February, this is the only one I could find that had a lot of glitter on the packaging. This is Bath & Body Works Spiced Gingerbread. So definitely kind of a Christmas candle but it has the kind of bakery notes of it and February is another kind of month that I do a lot of baking so I think it's not too bad to kind of burn this in February has the glitter packaging and yeah I just I like the candle I just didn't burn it in the winter time doesn't mean I can't not burn it in February because it's still winter time but that is everything for this project pan, my update on the January products and what I'll be working on in February. Let me know if you're doing this project pan. I really like rotating out and trying different things in my collection with this project. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it and I